and today I'm going to be sharing you five healthy recipes to try during quarantine or just during any time. So if you do some sports like gymnastics for example, these recipes are also really a really good snack idea to take during, if you have a really long practice like to eat during breaks. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to make is a fruit salad and these are a really good snack because like you can have it any time of day. Another great thing about fruit salads is you can be as creative as you want with it. Like there's not like a specific list of ingredients that you have to have. For this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some like fruits or berries or like vegetables if you want to put in your fruit salad. You're gonna like chop them up. In my fruit salad, I'm gonna have some raspberries that can already go in the bowl because they don't need to be chopped up a banana and some kiwi. You're gonna need some sort of yogurt. Now I'm gonna chop up my bananas and kiwis and put them in the bowl. Okay, so once you have your bowl of fruit finished and cut up, cut up and finished, what you're gonna do, you're gonna mix it, uh, mix all the fruit in with a spoon because you don't want to have like a layer of bananas, a layer of raspberries, a layer of kiwis. You kind of want it all mixed together. And now for the last step, you're going to add your yogurt or whatever you're going to like fill it up with and just pour it in. Okay, so there you have it. You have now finished your fruit salad and it's ready to eat. Although it might not look the most pleasing, I'm sure you'll love the taste. Now this next recipe is probably a bit, gonna be a bit harder than all the other recipes we've done today. And these are spiced gingerbread truffles. Well, you can't read it because it's in the mirror. But yeah, so they're spiced gingerbread truffles. And I got this recipe from this book about how to eat brilliantly every day. For this recipe, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the zest of one orange, two tablespoons of orange juice, you're gonna need some ground cinnamon, ground ginger, 50 grams of ground almonds, three centimeters of ginger, also grated, the seeds from one vanilla pod, which looks a bit like this, 20 dates, and the last two things you're gonna need is 100 grams of chocolate, and this, because this is like a healthy recipe sort of video, this should be like over 70%, so it's not like that sugary. The, the last thing you're gonna need is like just normal coconut oil. So the first thing you, that you're gonna do is you're gonna get your 20 dates and you're gonna chop them up. So once you've got all your ingredients ready and you've chop, chopped up your dates, you're gonna put all of it into like a food processor because what you're gonna need is these sort of smoothie blender things. So you're gonna put all of it into a food processor except for the coconut oil and the chocolate because that comes in later. Okay, so once you've done that, you're gonna close the lid of the food processor and just blend it until it turns into like a sort of, it all mixes together and you can't really tell the ingredients apart. Okay, so once you finish, you're gonna put the put like the mixture, which should look a bit like this, into the freezer for 30 minutes. Now, once these things are out of the freezer, then what you're gonna do, you're gonna get a bit of it and you're gonna make it into a ball just with your hands, like this, and put it on a chopping board. in a freezer for 10 more minutes okay so for the next bit you're gonna need to use an oven and what you're gonna do you're gonna get a, is this a saucepan yeah this is a saucepan you're gonna get a saucepan and fill it up with water about like half the way and you're gonna get your like a double boiler that's what it's called right yeah it's a double boiler and put your chocolate and your coconut oil inside Okay, so once you've put your chocolate and your coconut oil in your double boiler, you're gonna put it on the saucepan and just turn the oven on. You're also gonna need like a wooden like spoon or spatula type thing, sort of mix it in. 
Now just keep kind of like mixing it until it melts and it gets to like the stage where it's basically liquid. So when the chocolate is like liquidified, it should be about time to take your little balls out of the freezer. First let the chocolate cool for about five minutes, dip the spoon into the chocolate, roll the chocolate ball around a bit, and just place it on the cutting board. And you're gonna do that for all of them. Once you finish, your balls should look a bit like this. And now you're just gonna pop through the fridge for the chocolate tartan. Now this last recipe is for all the leftover chocolate. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get some nuts and just repeat the process that we did for the balls. Get the nut, put it on a spoon, dip it into the chocolate and just like put it on a cutting board. And then just put them all in the freezer until the chocolate hardens. Just like the last one, you could be as creative as you want with this. But for this recipe, you're gonna need a like a smoothie blender, food processor, nutri bullets, whatever you want to call it, and some like sort of liquid. So today I'm using milk, uh, but you can use so you can use juice, squash. Um, you can use water, and you're also gonna need something to like actually put in your smoothie. So this can be like fruits, berries, vegetables. You can put like chocolate and stuff in there. But this is like a healthy recipes video. So you shouldn't, because that's not very healthy. With the ingredients, it doesn't really matter how small the pieces are. Like with my banana, I'm just gonna like split it into like three pieces and pop it in there. Um, but don't like, like I'm not gonna just put a whole banana in there because it's not really gonna blend. And now we blend. So now you are finished with your smoothie and time to drink. For the next recipe, you could also use part of your smoothie because the next recipe is ice lollies. If you're like me and you live in England, you would know that the weather lately has been surprisingly hot for England. And you might get really hot like when you're outside playing on the grass or doing whatever you do outside. And you might want to have like some ice cream or some ice lollies. But that's not very good for you, is it? So instead, try these homemade ice lollies uh, for which you're gonna need these sort of like container things. I think any sort of container works, but you need to like stick a stick in it, inside it. I'm pretty sure, okay, this hasn't been tested out, but if you don't have one of, the, one of these containers, you could just get like a glass, stick a stick in it, like a lolly stick, shove it in the freezer and bam you have ice lolly it's that simple but i have these containers and so what you're gonna need you're gonna need some sort of like liquid you could use juice squash anything you'd put in a smoothie you could use milk a bit strange but yeah because the last recipe was a smoothie you could also use your smoothie so what you're gonna do you're gonna pour the smoothies if the containers, which should already have like an ice lolly stuck in there. I'm gonna try and be careful and not make a mess because I don't think I've ever been in a kitchen. Wait, I, I wouldn't drink that. I don't wanna waste that smoothie. Okay. I don't think I've ever been in the kitchen and actually cooked something where I haven't like made a mess of the entire thing. Okay, the first one went pretty well. Okay. Now you're gonna put the cover over it if you like have a cover and put it in the freezer for usually about two hours but if it like hardens and turns into an ice lolly before that sure take it out so i really hope you like these recipes and that you are actually going to try them at home because believe me they all taste amazing and thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye